Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we will create a video for Small Business Saturday using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. In the US, Small Business Saturday is a day dedicated to supporting small businesses and celebrating their contribution to the economy. It takes place the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and this year it falls on November 26th. It's a great opportunity to get your business in front of potential new customers. But how can you ensure your video stands out from the rest? Well, we're going to use Doodly today and create an awesome Small Business Saturday video. Let me show you what I have so far because I want to show you that you can use some graphics from American Express specifically for Small Business Saturday. So this animated GIF here is from American Express. They sponsor Small Business Saturday and you can get free ones from them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So type in American Express Small Business Saturday kit and the year and hopefully one of these first links will get you where you need to go. We're looking for American Express because they're the company that created Small Business Saturday. You go over here to Small Business Owners. Right here, let's invite your customers to shop small. Click Learn More. Hassle-free marketing materials. This is what we're looking for. Small Business Saturday Assets. So, if you scroll down here, you will notice, I think this is the one I chose. They have quite a few different options and they have both the moving ones, the animated ones, as well as static ones. You can use whichever you like with Doodly. Doodly supports both. And then they also have the stories, the rectangular ones. And I think that's what we're gonna work on today because it's a little bit different, okay? Let's use this one with the skates. So right click and then save image as, and I'm just gonna name it um, Small Business Saturday. It's right there on my desktop. And that's basically it. You're welcome to search around for more here. It's all kinds of stuff. So let's go back to Doodly and let's create a new video. We'll do something similar to this, but in the vertical format. So go to my videos, create new video. Let's give it a name. And right here under resolution, remember we want it to be vertical, not this horizontal. And this is where you can do that. So go ahead and click here and you're gonna choose custom. So normally it's 1920 by 1080. Well, we're gonna flip that and go custom. And we're gonna go 1080 by 1920. We're gonna get rid of this little check mark here and start over 1080 by 1920. And now we have this nice vertical rectangle. Click create and let's go ahead and Go to props, type in rectangle. And I like these with the little dots. And I believe, here we go. Doodly Enterprise has the dotted rectangle and the dashed one. I like the dotted one. So that's the one I'm gonna use. If you don't have Doodly Enterprise, you can create your own rectangles or find your own rectangles on a royalty free site and import them in. Okay, so don't feel like you have to have exactly what I have here. So let's position it. I think we need a little bit of room for some doodly characters or assets. So let's let's put it here like so for the moment. Now that animated GIF, so we want to get that in or GIF if you prefer. So go to props. Click this little blue and white plus sign and you can browse or you can drag it in. I'm just going to drag mine in and click continue and here it is. And it's going to look static for now because we're not playing it. So it's just, you know, it's just one screen that we're seeing. Let's take a quick preview and adjust the timing on this. So three seconds to draw the dots then that erase, then the scribble. And now it's starting to do the movement, but it stopped because we're only at six seconds in. 
So we've got to do a little fiddling. Our little border does not need to be three seconds long. I go with one. This image, it doesn't need to come on for three seconds, but we are going to need it to last a while. So let's have it come on for one second initially. To make it last longer, we can add time at the end of the scene or on our next asset, whatever that is, we can add a delay. Okay, we will get to that in a moment. For now, let's go to this pencil icon. And instead of having it scribble, let's have it fade. Save and return. And then remember how the hand erased the blank spot there? Go to settings. I'm going to turn that off. I don't like that effect. <laughs> Erase mode, smart mode, turn it off. While we're here, we can change the hand if we'd like. I'm going to go for a cartoon hand. The idea is we want our video to be different from any other video that they're just using these graphics that they got. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Let's take a look now. And already that's looking nicer. Again, the animation, it's paused for the moment. So let's add our logo or something like that. Okay, because we need to know who it is. So we're going to pretend that we are Acme Design. Why not? So I'm just going to stick that down here. And I'm going to click the pencil icon and I'm going to have it fade on as well. And it's going to also be a fast fade. And I'm going to add the delay here. Let's say five and a half seconds. And let's take a look at it now. This delay will allow my animation to continue. And then it's just going to keep repeating, okay? And then in the midst of that, Acme Design came on. Now we can add a few more elements if you'd like. How about a thumbs up? And then we could add our own custom text. Okay, let's take a little preview. And now remember, I have a long gap before my logo comes on and I think it might be a little too long. So what I'm going to do is change up. So let's make it like that many seconds and then let's change this. And then let's add some time at the very end of the scene. Let's go seven seconds. Okay, so the last thing I'd like to do is just add a quick little voiceover to help personalize this video. You know, we're a small business. Hearing the owner's voice will help kind of reinforce that, hey, I'm just a small town owner here. Come support me. So let's go down here to our little microphone button and this little plus sign right here. Go ahead and click that. And when you're ready to speak, you're going to hit this little red button. Now I'm going to keep it really short and sweet. So here I go. Small businesses are the backbone of the economy. Show your support on Small Business Saturday, November 26. Put Acme Design on your wish list. Shop small and shop local this holiday season. And then you just click that little button once again when you're done speaking. Now you'll notice I waited like three or four seconds before I did it. So I have this empty blank space. I'm just gonna go over here and trim it down. Do the same at the beginning. And then now I can move this down a little bit too. And I think that'll be good. And that's it. Let's take one final look and we will be done. Small businesses are the backbone of the economy. Show your support on Small Business Saturday, November 26. Put Acme Design on your wish list. Shop small and shop local this holiday season. And there you have it. I hope this gives you some ideas for Small Business Saturday. Thanks for watching.